Um, earlier this week, the first official photos of Princess Charlotte and her big brother, Prince George, were released. And, I mean, weren't they? They were gorgeous, of course. But what's surprised most of us is that they were taken by the Duchess of Cambridge herself on her own um, camera. So that got us thinking. It got Hillary thinking, really. Can we all do what Kate did? No, is probably the answer. But our photographer, Andrew Hewitson, is here with his tips. Andrew, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm well. Can, can anyone do that? Yes, yeah. I mean, she's got a they very... They were good, though, weren't they? They were, they were very good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's actually something that the photography community are talking about a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, they're critiquing them. Um, I mean, if I was to crit critique them, I'd say... Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say they were bad at all. I mean, there's a little bit of clipped highlights in there. Yeah, I um, thought but that. she's doing all the kind of simple things right. Yeah. What's a clipped highlight? A clipped highlight is when you overexpose um, oh, the whites. Um, yeah. It's very technical and um, it's nitpicking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are in fact a nitpicker. You're confirming no, this no. morning. No, not at all. <laughs> this is a photography community, not me. Oh right. Of course. Of course. It's other Absolutely. people, not it's you. Them. It's yeah. Them. Um, okay. So everyone knows these. I mean, if you're if you're listening on radio live at the moment, you know these photos because the whole world have seen these photos. Yes. I mean, the, the kids were well dressed, but what you're going to give us now are your tips so that you can reenact this in your own home. Okay. Yes. So we've got five tips. Number one, background. Background. So um, a consistent and um, a consistent background. So if we look at the photos there, she's got um, a neutral background, um, mostly white. Yeah. Um, so not so you don't want pot plants growing out of people's heads. No, and your, your number one tip was very good. So yeah, yeah, remove the, um, what was it, shite? Shite. <laughs> Just shite. Pot, pot plants. Because sometimes you look at people's photos and you are so overwhelmed by how appalling their room looks. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Take those um, cluttered elements out of um, the shot. Okay, so background is number one. Number two, shoot at the right time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we call it the golden hour mm -hmm. and there's actually two of these in a day so, so it's um, the golden hours hours yes mm. yeah um so one is an hour before sunset yep. and an hour after sunrise okay. um, so you get a golden um hue aren't the kids going ape by then <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes yeah um, okay so 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 shoot at the right time hour before uh sunrise etc yeah uh sunset what am i um number three let them do what they feel comfortable doing. Now, you see, people hate that because they love to orchestrate things. Yeah, absolutely. But you can do that in a kind of controlled setting. So um, whether it's kind of giving them kind of tasks or um, competitions to do. So, you know, who can blow the biggest bubble? Who can jump in um, and make uh, the biggest okay, splash in a puddle? Okay. You know, um, who, who's the fastest? Yeah. Now, I love your fourth your fourth tip. Get down to their level. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm six foot. You know, they'll be like two foot. There's a four foot difference there. So get down to the level and um, makes them feel more comfortable, um, makes me less scary. Mm. Um, but also it changes the perspective of the photo. So it's more sort of intimate. It's more yeah, just, yeah, just absolutely. better. You see it from their level as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Shutter speed is number five. Now this is tricky because we're now starting to talk about equipment. Yes. You know, it is. so there would be a lot of people, for instance, who only use an iPhone or a Samsung or something like that, yeah. and they would maybe not even know how to adjust the, sh the shutter speed, which you can do, can't you? Yes. 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 You can do that. Um, I believe there's like sport modes on um, more basic cameras, so put it onto there. So by when we talk about high shutter speed, it means that the the camera shutter is moving faster, so we can get those expressions when they happen. I mean, kids move so fast and um, their their glances, their kind of personality comes up. Um, they're, they're so, so small. So, so you don't take, want that great moment to be blurred. Exactly. And we want to, want to take a lot of photos as well. I mean, hmm. one thing... Um, well, you're not paying for film anymore, are you? No, you might as well not. just exactly. keep flicking. Exactly. So um, it'd be interesting to see how many photos um, that Kate took when yeah. she was... Um, yeah. Oh, those are the only good ones she got. Exactly. Four. Yeah, she took 752. She was there for two hours. And only got four decent ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously. <laughs> That's right. But time is no object to her. Um, okay, very quickly, um, the camera. Which is more important? the light that you've used or the mm -hmm. camera that you're taking the picture on? I'd say the light. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, you can get a great photo from a pretty average camera, can't yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, totally. I mean, I do it all the time. And they're actually... Really? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's professional uh, photographers nowadays who go out with their iPhones and sell them to stock sites. Andrew, thank you very much for joining us. Good tips. Uh, Andrew Hewitson, photographer.